Hello, everyone. Welcome to Technologies Discussion Channel. Today, I'd like to continue the discussion on LP WAN, Low Power Wide Area Network. For this video, I'm mainly going to concentrate on LoRa WAN security. For example, I'm going to discuss how can an end device actually joins the LoRa WAN network. In fact, there are two ways for the end device to join the LoRa WAN network. The first one will be over the air activation, which is also known as OTAA. Another method is basically activation by personalization, which is also known as ABP. So this, in fact, will be the two method for an end device to join a LoRaWAN network. Okay, over this over the air activation, I'm also going to discuss what is actually a private key and also public key. So this will be all the objective for this video. This will be the part four series discussion on LP WAN. If you're keen to know more about LP WAN, please take a look on the playlist under the description. Under this playlist, you are going to have some more ideas what is actually LP WAN. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before we continue, let's support this channel by pressing the like and also subscribe button. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Guys, once again, sincere thanks for your strong support. Before any end device or LoRa end device can communicate on a LoRa WAN network, get the following information in red are required. So there are three things that we need before an end device can join a LoRa WAN network. Okay, we need this device address. Okay, so this device address is a unique number to identify the end device. We also need the network session key and the application session key. So therefore, at the end device, they need to have this three things before they can join the LoRa WAN network. As I mentioned earlier on, there are actually two activation methods for the end device to join the LoRaWAN network. The first method which we're going to kick start the discussion will be over the air activation. Another method will be activate by personalization. Okay, so these are the two ways to join the LoRa network, for example. What is actually over the air? Okay, the first method is over the air activation. Okay, the device and the network exchange a 128 bits apps key. When the device send the join request, the apps key is used to create a message in gravity code, MIC in short. The server then check the MIC with the apps key. If the check is valid, the server create two new 128-bit key, the app session key and also the network session key. These key are sent back to the device using the apps key as an encryption key. When the key are received, the device decrypt and install the two session key. A lot of wording. Maybe I put my own idea what is over the air. Okay, so instead, more works. Okay, let's do a role play. Okay, for example, now I'm the end device. You guys, the listener, are all so called are the LoRa WAN network. I'm the end device. You guys are the LoRa WAN network. Okay, for example, I and you do not know each other. So one day we meet, we actually exchange our name card. The name card that we exchange is actually this 128 bits apps key. So we actually exchange our name card, the name card, which is actually the 128 bits apps key. So when I go home, okay, when I want to join the network, I actually show the network, the name card that you given to me, okay, which is again the 128 bits apps key. I show the name card, which is the 128 apps key to show to the network. So basically, the network will check okay, to see whether this name card is valid. Okay, so they check that this card is valid because I and you actually exchange a name card. So therefore, the network will generate two more additional key, okay, which is the app session key and also the network session key. They generate these two key, okay, but they put the key inside an envelope with a lock. Okay, so the keyword to unlock the envelope 
will be the NIM card that I given to you. Remember, early on, you and I actually exchanged a NIM card. The NIM card that I given to you will be the password to unlock the envelope. Being the correct recipient, I actually has the password. I actually can unlock the envelope. And again, from here, I actually retrieve the application session key and also the network session key. Then I actually successfully join the LoRa network. Okay, so this is actually what is over the air activation. Another scenario, for example, I actually pick up your NIM card on the floor. And again, I show the network the NIM card. Okay, so basically the one that I actually pick on the floor. Okay, so again, the network will check the NIM card. Okay, or the 128 bits apps key. Okay, whether is it valid? Again, this NIM card is valid. So they will also generate this application session key and network session key. Again, these two key will be put inside an envelope with a lock. Now, probably, oh, oh, because I'm not the one who exchanged the name card with you, I do not have the password to unlock the envelope. And therefore, I am not able to join the network. So therefore, over here, you can see how secure LoRaWAN network can be. So basically, in short, in order to join the network, I need to have the application session key and also the network session key. And then I pass them my device address. Then I will be able to join the network. Without these two key, application session key and network session key, I'm not able to join the network. Okay, so now I'm going to explain the difference between public key and also private key. Okay, remember earlier on, I'm the end device. You guys are the network. We exchange our name card, if you still remember. Okay, the name card that the end device given to the network is called a private key. Because this password, 128 bits password, is only you and I know, which is the end device and the network know. No one's supposed to know this 128 bits key. Okay, but the key that the network given to me, okay, so you guys give me a key. Okay, that key is actually so-called the public key. Because when I want to join the network, I actually show the network the key, which everybody can clearly see my key. So therefore, this form of key is actually called a public key. Okay, so hopefully with this, you actually some understanding what is private key and also public key. Okay, so another method okay, for the end device to join the network will be activation by personalization, APP. However, if we use this APP, okay, so basically we potentially have some secure issue. Okay, what is APP? Okay, APP is, you can imagine that there will be a list. Okay, this list will actually identify who is supposed to join a class. Okay, I guess you know this. Basically, a list can identify who is supposed to join the network, for example, for this case here. Okay, for example, let's do a scenario in a class. Okay, again, you know that every class has this attendant list. Okay, so if the attendant list mentioned that this guy, let's say, Tan Ah Gao, supposed to join the class. So when you actually come in, you say that you are Tan Ah Gao. I will simply say, welcome to the class. Okay, you can see over here, there is no mean that I can check whether you are the real or fake Tan Ah Gao. As long as you know that Tan Ah Gao is supposed to join the class and you impose as Tan Ah Gao, I will not be able to know. And therefore, this potentially has some security issue. Okay, so this is the method by APP. Okay, so let's come to the last slide on LoRa security. Okay, before we go to the last slide, if you found this video okay, useful, please consider to like it and also subscribe to this channel. Okay, once again, sincere thanks for your strong support. Let's move to the last slides. So basically, these are the three keys okay, that the end device need to have before they can actually join the LoRaWAN network. Okay, so they need to have this device address, which I have shared with you. This basically uniquely identified the end device, okay, which is mentioned here. Okay, we also have this network session key, which is a 128 bits AES encryption key, and also the application session key, which is the same, okay, which is the 128 bits AES encryption key. Okay, so with this, I'd like to end my discussion. 
hopefully by this little discussion on the LoRa security, you have a better idea how a end device can actually join a LoRa WAN network, which I have explained early on by two methods. Okay, one is the over the air method, another one is activation by personalization. Okay, so with this, I also discuss okay what is the difference between private key and also private a private key versus the public key. So with this, I'd like to end my discussion. Please help to like and subscribe. Once again, sincere thanks for your strong support. See you soon.